Hi, uh, my name is Jesse, and my story is about my dad, uh, John Thwarher, and when he came to the United States. Uh, when he came, he brought with him um, his dentist equipment, his barber kits, but most importantly, his scars and his stories about the Secret War. I remember him telling me stories of uh, when he first met my mother. Uh, when he went over to her house, uh, he saw that there was a machine gun just sitting outside of her house. Uh, when he told me this, we both laughed, but it was serious. Uh, because back then, there was always that sense of danger from the Viet Cong that they can attack at any second. Uh, they were always like a constant threat to Laos and the Miao or the Hmong people. When he first enlisted to the Secret Army in 1967, he was only 13 and uh, he was put into the Special Guerrilla Unit, aka the SGU, finishing basic training from the Americans in about 52 weeks. He was taking fuel medic and dentistry classes. Uh, the reason he got picked to do that was because he scored the second highest among his peers and along with the Thai soldier who took first. He remembers the camp he was at and that camp was called Bon Vinay. He remembers digging a trench about four feet deep and three feet wide and as he was digging his best friend was next to him. He got shot in the neck and fell to my dad's lap and from that my dad was never the same. And he remembers that same year his base got attacked again by Viet Congs but this time it was at night. Uh, he remembers he was on scout duty and he saw roughly 300 to 350 Viet Congs at a nearby valley. He told his camp right away and they reacted and they fought back using hand-me-down weapons from the U.S. which was mortars, bazookas, and rifles. The Viet Congs had attacked head-on and from both sides. Though his camp was in a really bad situation, they managed to win the fight. But from this, my dad suffered from three shrapnel wounds to his upper left shoulder onto his neck and a frag grenade that happened to explode nearby which burned his stomach onto his upper chest. My dad didn't remember much from the concussive blow from the grenade. He only remembers seeing bright white lights, Americans in bloody cloths, then he knocked out again. When he told me this story, his voice trembled. Later on, he became a lieutenant in the Secret Army and was given rights to come to the United States in 1988. He came with my mother, Kia Shang Her, and seven kids. They started their life together in Appleton, Wisconsin. He had relatives here already, and his uncle wanted my dad to go to school to become a dentist, but later declined. I don't know why, but now when my dad looks back to it, he regrets everything. My dad lived off working at a nearby pizza store and also by farming. The tragic of him coming to the United States, it draws upon him because he did so much for our country and his country, but in a little got pretty much nothing in return. From his stories and hardships, it always haunts him and me in ways that I'll never want to experience. <laughs>